today's a day that I never thought would happen. I'm saying goodbye to the real. Your camera off, Paul? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't normally do this since your channel is so new uh -huh. and I've been I've been around a lot longer. Yeah. But I'll go ahead, we'll collaborate with you and see where I can get you. Awesome. Appreciate it. No problems. The McLean is going away. It's going to a great home. We have Paul. Hey. What's with up? The next DIY lawn channel. You know him from there. You know him from Castleberry's Lawn. Super excited to be able to help Paul out. Yeah, man. With his new house and get him real low cutting that Bermuda. I'm gonna get really serious with my cutting. Oh, we're not doing dad jokes, are we? I, I just threw one out, so I, I don't know. Should you, I stop it there? You're not a dad though, you can't do that. I am, I got four kids, man. You do? No, so Paul came up from Athens today to pick up the McLean, letting him use it to get his feet wet and get the addiction started the way it started for myself and many others. So let's go watch him take a look at this thing for the first time. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, here we go. Ooh, I'm excited. Is this one open? Latch it up. There we go. Look at that. There she is. Oh, th this is my favorite part right here. The golf ball handle? The golf ball oh, handle yeah. right there. That's, that was that's at least worth 20 bucks alone. So 10 blades? 10 blade reel. Nice. Am I rolling this out or? Yeah, let's yeah, let's roll it out. Okay. There's a lip at the end of the ramp, so just go. I'm sure that was not as graceful as it could have been. Okay. Uh, now, now what? I haven't started it since the fall. <laughs> Where's the key? Okay, chokes on. Okay. Throttles up. Okay. Anything else? No more kill switches. Oh, well, let's check for gas. That's probably, nah, man, you just crank it and go. Yeah, oh, I can smell it. There's gas in there. Yeah, that's good enough. It cranks. Yeah. All right. Winterize that. Ooh, you smell it? Yeah. Ah, oh, love it. Okay, so we just took it for a little spin, did a couple of laps, ran out of gas. Like any true good, uh, any good true DIY lawn guy, we cranked the mower without filling it with gas. Exactly. It fired up outside of, you know, a first five or six minute warm up. And that was the first that, time you pulled it? And that's what? the first time since September. Wow. And you said it's like a 20 year old motor that's on there? Yeah, because so looking at the serial number, oh, what was it? Let's see, it's. Yeah, 1997. Oh, wow. So we're looking 22 years. Wow. What else do I need to know when when cut? Because I've, I've never really real cut before. So w what else do I need to know when I go to cut for the first time? First time is uh, walk the yard. Okay. Just in case of rocks, big twigs, just any any type of debris. Yeah. Because you will be a lot lower. I'm but, sure that debris will jack the reel up. Yeah. you'll If you get it in there with like a nail or a rock or I'm thinking, yeah. It can stop it. And then, or more importantly, you know, ding the reel up. You got to get it ground. Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I, I, I do a walk, mainly perimeter walk. Do a little once over of the yard. Okay. We have it set now at its, I guess, officially lowest setting. It goes one lower for the scalp setting, but it's just under half inch. And so that's where you're telling me to start out at? Half inch on the, on the line? Maybe bump it up to the next one, which is around five eighths, okay. just to get a feel. Yeah, see where low spots are high spots are to get an idea and do that once but then if everything's good you can go back and drop it and okay. do it over and that'll give you time for as the seasons progress because georgia's hot yeah 
and yeah you don't want to be out there all the time bumping up a height of cut will give you the option to you know extend it from every other day every two three days to you know every four if gotcha. you're not using growth regulator and if you throw some t-necks down you can extend that out a little more but it okay. it saves you towards the end of the year to where you're not having to keep that main height of cut most everyone starts at low and yeah then they may they try to maintain it and until they can't anymore yeah and then then raise the height of cut so the yard's never been cut with a real mower before my yard hell's half acre do i need to do anything in prep for cutting it with a real mower or just have at it i mean i've already scalped it with the rotary is it just the bermuda section or part of the just the bermuda so we're not I'm talking not, i'm back. not going to do the fat no not, okay. oh my gosh well, that you should thing. you should try the fescue <clears throat> dude i don't know if i can get this thing back there man you've seen it it's like this yeah. it's like but no. go to town you can catch clippings, you cannot catch clippings. It's, it's your preference. I catch them, so that's a that's just an entire personal preference. I'd probably yeah. not run the catcher. For the first time? For the first year, until you get a feel for like where bed knife and real meat. Watch out for manhole covers, water meter covers, things sprinkler like that. Sprinkler heads, all that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, definitely sprinkler heads because that'll Jack mess up your reel and mess up your sprinkler head, so you got a two for one special. Oh yeah, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but no, other than that, just go for it. Okay. Go for it, go low. Say goodbye to the wife for three months yeah. before. When I told her I was doing this, she's yeah. like, wait, does that mean you're gonna have to cut more? I was like, yes, yeah. yes it does. Yeah. She's like, I don't know how I feel about that. Like, I feel really good about that. No. So. It's therapy for me. So yeah. that's that's kind of where it started. Well, I'm excited. I'm, I'm pumped. I appreciate it. I tell you what, whatever I get for it on eBay, I'll give the money to Connor Ward for his tri -play. Oh, that would be fantastic. He said I got it needs oil, right? You're gonna have to change the yeah, oil. Yeah, I bought the stuff to change the oil last fall, but then got a Toro. So it just kind of You got a Cadillac. It, it was on the You had a Cadillac compared to a Pinto. Yeah. It was nah. It was on the to-do list. And then I took on winter projects of picking up the McLean edger. Not sure if I was building a sprayer, but then did and then got that to go along with it and had to redo that in addition to house projects and just other, you know, upkeep. So hardwood floors, hardwood floors, faux columns. There's been more. You've been I busy just, during the winter. Yeah, I, I have to, I try to stay busy. That crap's done now, get in the yard. The wife doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna be out here every, every day now from the rest until October. So I think got, this is my favorite feature though. The bike, the bike grips, yeah. they, the bike grips. They are like, and you hold you hold it vertically like that. Like that, you were saying and, do it like this. And you just, when your hands are up like that, there's more, I guess, lateral stability. Yeah. And the McLean, just due to the weight, yeah, it tends it's to, light. It, yeah, it's very light. It floats when you get really, really dense turf later in the year. Yeah. And the hand grip there, I actually found, I use that the entire time to keep my line straight. Let's not talk about how straight my lines are gonna be for, out of the gate. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. My January mow when it warmed up, it was it was bad. It's comical. I deleted all the video. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is my first cut, I'll cut it, and then like four months down the road, when I got the stripes nice and straight, I'll splice that in over the first cut, so it looks like right out of the gate. Yeah, I was doing it perfect. It has the roller on the front. Thank yeah. you, real rollers. You change your pattern, and like with a rotary, yeah. it's like every week I would go, you know, different directions. This here though, every other week. Really? So if you're doing two or three different ways. Yeah, stick to that. Stick to that, and then if you get froggy, double cut it. Okay. The same time, same direction, and that just, and over time, the grass will set in. It, okay. The stripes will set in. Then you'll have to worry about, though, is uh, grain. But I, I don't think we have to worry about that yet. That's a 200 series lesson, and you're gonna have to uh, go to Patreon to find out how to deal with that. Yeah, what he said. Yeah. It was sort of a sad day saying goodbye to my first powered mower. However, I could not picture it going to a better place than with Paul of the next DIY Lawn Channel. He's going to do some great things with it at his new house. He's going to take that Bermuda lawn from a rotary cut cesspool of despair and turn it into the nice real low Bermuda grass that it has always wanted to be. So with that, I'm real low dad. I have what's left of my family behind me, and so I want to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for things that are coming up this year because holy cow, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to try some new things and see if we can take things further than they've been taken before from a homeowner's perspective. So we'll see you again next time.
Thanks for watching.